the greyest day I've seen this year. It's literally just grey. There's not like a single shed of light out there. Anyway, let's go grab a coffee and then get ready. <laughs> Okay, now let's go jump in the shower and get ready. The, we the weather is honestly horrible. Man, UK, can you just have some nice weather for once, please? Please, longer than three days as well. <laughs> Okay, just gotta put my shoes on and then um, off I go. By the way, the Seiko 5 is up to £30 on eBay already, so I have made £10 on the watch profit so far, which is good. <laughs> got back in and as you can probably tell okay no you probably can't my jacket's wet and look at this the sun has just come out for like 10 seconds the moment i step inside it was tipping it down i went and met with my dad didn't record in the, the watch guys shop because i just didn't i don't know i didn't feel right recording there to be honest because obviously it was just asking a question and i just didn't want to record in there so i didn't uh, but let me show you what i got anyway so i went to iceland i got two pizzas i got a bag of curly fries and a bag of nuggets and a bottle of Pepsi. Yeah. Also, I got these. I know I don't read very often, but we went into the charity shop. These are books that I've kind of, I've seen online and stuff and I thought would be cool to read. And considering the price, like three pound for this and it's a hardback, two pound for this, you know, and it's not bad prices and it's from the British Heart Foundation. So at least the money's going to charity, I guess. True, true grit, uh, Bear Grylls, the epic true stories of heroism and survival that have shaped my life. And then 127 hours, both sort of survival things. This is where he cuts his own arm off to survive spoiler and um, based on a true story and this is obviously bear grill which you can't go wrong i thought they were not a bad purchase now i needed some clippers as well you know these ones this is all i needed them to clip the models because i forgot to get some but this set is pretty useful my dad said he'd buy it for me so thank you very much dad i appreciate it now i needed some roll on as well so i picked up all three these are all the nivea men ones these are the ones that as he said are really good I don't know which ones are good because she wasn't able to come with me. So I've just thought I'd get all three considering they're a pound each. I'm not exactly losing out on money. There was a place I used to go to uh, when I did Games Workshop models. I used to buy the models for cheap because they get it from the same retailer. Just they get it at a discounted price and you can do you can then sell them cheaper than what Games Workshop sell them at. Now, I didn't think that place existed anymore. So it was like seven, eight years ago. My dad was saying it existed. So we went and had a look and I picked these up for £12.60 and they're usually like 20 quid. These are some more orcs. These are orc knobs. The ones I bought online at Orc Boys. So I've got these as well that I can paint, which is pretty cool. So this is what comes with it. These guys and uh, these. So we can get started on these soon. With the watches. So, uh, by the way, the watch the watch box is broken that he sent it in. Oh no. Shouldn't be such a cheap piece of shit then. But pretty much, um, I took this with me because I wanted to see how much it cost to get this service. And he opened it up real quick, had a look, and pretty much inside, there's a little coil, he said, inside that's broken, but they can't repair it because the piece doesn't exist anymore because of how old the watch is. Um, but it's not affecting the watch itself, so it's not really that big of an issue. The watch guy's very honest. He could make more money off me by saying it is an issue. Um, but he doesn't, he's, he's honest. And for the whole cleaning and servicing, it cost 85 quid, which is a lot of money. I thought it'd be about 40 quid. So I'm not gonna get it serviced yet, but at some point I probably will. And then with this, yep, he pretty much looked at it and went, he just like went, yep, that's fake <laughs> immediately. So uh, it's definitely 100% fake without a doubt. So I'll be filing the report on eBay right now and the seller and getting my money back. And then tomorrow I'll make a video explaining how it's fake and going into all the details. So if you're interested in that, keep an eye out. I'll be recording the video hopefully tomorrow and uploading it whenever. So just keep an eye out and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get my money back. And hopefully I'm pretty confident the seller of the watch won't get back to me because obviously it's illegal to sell fake watches. So <laughs> I doubt he's gonna get back to me, which means eBay will be covering the costs and refunding me. And I don't think they take the watch back either. So um, I can just give this watch to my dad or something. That's my plan um, because I, 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 I wouldn't feel right wearing a fake watch, but it's a very functional watch. It looks nice. Um, so I can understand why someone would and hey, whatever who cares each to their own and me and my dad We went into lumbers. 
so story time. Uh, we went into Lumbers and one of the guys in there, you know, one of the, you think is a typical salesman, he comes up to you, is, do you need help with anything? No, we're just looking, no, and he's like, oh, no problem and stuff. And he's always looking at the Omegas and he he, um, he just got talking to us and we talked to him for about 30, 40 minutes, you know, about all kinds of different watches, the movements, like this guy really knew his stuff, he'd been doing it. His granddad was actually a watchmaker for Omega back in the day and everything, that's how he got into watches, so on and so forth. And he bought out um, the, the Omega, I don't remember the name of it, Omega something or other, um, I'll try and put a picture up on screen, the 18 karat gold one. Uh, this is like 14,000 pounds or something and he let, let me try it on and let me hold it and look at it Man, it was beautiful really heavy as well <laughs> because it's 18 karat pure gold um, But yeah, it was just beautiful talking to him for ages and I was just like, how do you get into the business? How are you doing? Obviously, he told me how he did it and he was just like I was like I'd love to work somewhere like this He's like just prop your CV by like uh, he's, he's like you seem you seem like you know your stuff So um, we can see what we can do and uh, in the end I asked him like his name and stuff He was the manager of the store. So that's pretty cool. So maybe maybe I might have a chance I don't know I'm gonna go take in my CV try and find him So I give it directly to him talk to him a bit explain that I've got experience in sales and all that I might end up there instead of BMW? I don't know, we'll just see. I've not even handed my CV in yet, so who knows? He could have just been saying that, so I'll come back and buy a watch, even though I can't afford three to fucking 50,000 pounds for a watch. But anyway, that would be pretty cool. I've opened the case with eBay now. Um, so the seller has two weeks to get back to me and find a solution to the problem, which is refunding me, or eBay step in and deal with the problem, which means eBay will then refund me, but we're just gonna see what happens. But I'm gonna go live very soon. The weather is apparently gonna be nice tomorrow, and tomorrow is day 50 of the vlogging. Today's day 49, tomorrow's day 50. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna spray them in a little bit and then paint them tomorrow, very excited. So it's been raining quite heavy, so I'm not gonna be able to spray these today, but I'll spray them tomorrow. And a update on the watch, the seller got back to me and he stated that it wasn't stated as a as a, a Tag Heuer, it was stated as just a automatic watch. It's true, but the pictures clearly showed a Tag Heuer Monaco and it's a fake and it's against the rules to sell fake replicas, which is basically what he's saying, because he even said Tag Heuer Monaco's go for thousands of pounds, so yeah i don't know but i'll definitely be getting my money back i'm gonna make sure i do i'm gonna fight it until i get my money back as well um so yeah that's what's going on and right now the two watches the seiko 5 still at 31 quid and the auris has gone up seven pound 50 so that's good tomorrow's day 50 today's day 49 what we're planning to do me and yim are planning to go for a walk i can't remember where so you'll have to wait and see till tomorrow but yeah that's the plan so i'll see you all again then good night <laughs> Thank you.